Good morning, dogs. Happy Wednesday. Ah. Best buddies, cap and gowns, and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Best Buddies has a t-shirt fundraiser going on till April 21st. The 21st is the last day to place an order. The cost of the use small to extra large is $14. The double XL to 5XL cost is $18. If you'd like to order, talk to anyone in Best Buddies or go to the bookstore. Seniors, your cap and gowns will be ready for pickup today during lunch. You'll find Herf Jones in Collaboration Room 2 during lunches from 10.30 to 12.30. All the final payments are due today. Final payments can be made by cash or card. If you miss picking up your cap and gowns, please check with the front office. The 24th, the 26th, and the 27th of this month is a spring musical. Come see the Frankfurt Theater present Guys and Dolls. The tickets will be $5 for students and $10 for adults. The show starts at 7. Now I'm sending it to a video with more information on the show. Hi, I got to introduce some of the actors in Spring Musical, Guys and Dolls. Here, how it went. Uh, my name is Evans Matura, and I play Sky Masterson. Hi, my name is Doug Wood, and I'm Benny Fowl Street. My name is Eli Grasham, and I play Nathan Detroit. Uh, my name is Tessa Stephanatis, and I play Sarah Brown in the upcoming musical. Something about my character, uh, he's a gambler, but he travels a lot. He's been a lot of places, so, yeah. So, my character is, uh, she, her name is Sergeant Sarah. She's a sergeant in the mission, which is basically um, kind of like a religious kind of mission that they have where they go places and they try to, like, bring our Lord Jesus Christ into people's lives, basically. Nathan, he's, he is very determined uh he is he wants to do anything to to do what he needs to he he's willing to do anything to get what he needs but also he really cares about the people in his life so he's a real people person while also having having some other things to him that uh will be seen in the show i'm excited about it it's my first ever musical i was a part of the fall play but this is the first time i've been part of a musical um a lot more people in this than there was in the play um, but it's coming together, and I'm excited. This is my last show as a senior here at Frankfurt. I've done this my entire high school career, and I even spent uh, did, did a show here at the high school when I was in middle school. So I've been connected to this theater for a while, and I, I'm very excited to be, to be putting on the show, and I couldn't be more excited that this show is my last show. Something that you should expect is a lot of, um, there's a lot of comedy, but there is a lot of like um, drama in it as well, and I think that you should expect that coming into the show. You can expect, like, a lot of dancing. Uh, there's going to be quite a, quite, uh, quite a bit of singing as well. Um, it's going to be fun. Big big numbers that are uh, a lot of big numbers in the show. Um, but yeah, just expect a fun show. It's going to be upbeat and it should be funny as well. My favorite musical number in the show, there's a lot of good numbers in the show, but I believe my favorite one is the one I'm not in, and it's uh, Married to Man Today. I believe that's a really good um, number in the show. My favorite music probably right now probably sit down you're rocking the boat that one's a lot of fun i'm not even really in it i kind of just stand in the back the whole time but that one's my favorite it's a lot of fun to watch one of my duets i think it's a really cool song with a lot of dancing in the background so yeah come out and see the show on april 24 26 and 27 next week i hope i see you there Make sure to come out and support. Now to sports and weather. Thanks, Evans, and good morning, dogs. The girls' softball team was not able to break out of the rough patch on Tuesday as the team picked up their third straight loss. While Frankfurt had to take a take the loss, they wouldn't have to wait long to give it another shot for the pair's next game is a rematch schedule at 6 p.m. on Wednesday. And also, the varsity baseball got backtracked by defeating Southmont last night with a 9-0, with Matthew Berry led the offense with a couple of hits, including, including a home run, and Oscar Lopez pitched a complete game shot out to earn the win. And the boys will be competing against Southmont again here at home starting at 10 a.m. 
The girls' tennis team at Twin Lakes match score was 1-4, starting singles with Libby Pierce with 5-7, 6-4, 10-7, and Emma Wilder 1-6, 06, and Olivia Fry with 1-6, 1-6. And for doubles, we have Jocelyn Seward and Dallas Garcia with 6-6, 7-4, 3-6, and 5-10, and Kate Gabe and Giselle Figueroa with 3-6 and 2-6. Having Libby Pierce wins at one singles and a an, an comeback, and Jackie Castro and Lali Lopez Carrillo both won their JV singles. The girls will be playing against Kokomo here at home at 5.30. Now today, there's a track meet invitational for the girls, and they will be traveling to Noblesville starting also at 5.30. We also have the boys golf traveling nowhere, for they will be here going against Faith. Christian. Well, that is all the things I'll be talking about. Now, I'm going to send it to Birch with weather. Hey, thanks, Brian. Now for today's quick weather forecast. Coming into school this morning, we experienced mostly cloudy skies and some moderate winds, as you can tell by the flags behind the Irwin. I hope things don't get too warm today, and I don't see them getting very warm as the high is supposed to only range around 69 to 70 degrees for only a couple of hours. The real downside of the day is the massive chance of thunderstorms being through the roof, standing at a not-so-convenient 55%. Closing in towards the evening, showers should begin to wear off, and we can end with some cloudy skies and the temperature dropping down to a chilly 47 degrees. Might need a hoodie and some sweats after that, but that's going to wrap up me and Erwin. Now let's send it back to your amazing hosts. Thank you, Garrick. For today's lunch in lines one and two, there will be mini corn dogs. And in lines three, it's quesadillas. And in lines four, it's going to be pepperoni calzone. A special happy birthday goes out to Alejandro Florencio, Seven Aviato, and Logan Timmons. Happy birthday, hot dogs. That's all for the morning announcements. We hope you guys have a great Wednesday.